Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on Cobbler's Vlogs where it's finally all over. Our time in League One is done. It doesn't exist. We are now a League Two football club. The Cobblers have finished the season with a one-all draw at the Stadium of Light. A very creditable one-all draw. Fair play to them for, for going there and getting that um, in what was probably one of the dullest games of football I've ever watched in my life. So it's going to be probably be a very, very short match reaction to this one. But let's get in to the fact that the Cobblers drew 1-1 at Sunderland on the final day of the season. So yeah, not really got a lot to say about that game, apart from it was just a very, very boring average game. It, it seemed a training ground exercise from the start. Neither Cobblers nor Sunderland um, obviously had anything to play for. Sunderland in the playoffs, that's secured. Cobblers relegated will be in League Two next season. That is secured. Um, so nothing really to play for at all. Um, and it was a really, really bulled up, boring dull game which I don't think anybody really enjoyed watching. Sam Hoskins got the, the Cobblers goal. Uh, it was a free kick from um, about 20, 23 yards out, something like that, um, which deflected off the wall and, and went in. The Sunderland keeper couldn't get anywhere near it just because the deflection you know, was, had caught him out that much. Um, and then Sunderland equalised where a ball came in uh, hit the cross hit both posts um, and then Winchester was there to tap home Jonathan Mitchell uh, was probably at fault for about the 400th time this season uh, with that goal um, standing you know way out from his near post you know, you're a goalkeeper. You, surely you stand in the middle, of your, in the middle of your goal for for crosses, or or maybe a little bit further towards the near post. And he got that all wrong. Missed the cross. It hit both posts, and then he wasn't able to recover and make the save. Uh, and Winchester got an easy tap in. So that was kind of the story um, of the game. Nothing else really happened. It was a really slow, boring, lethargic training ground game. Fantastic to see some cobblers youngsters get out there. Caleb Chukwamika. Is that going to be the last time we see him in a cobbler's shirt? I think so personally. Uh, we've also got the likes of uh, Liam Cross who came on. Morgan Roberts haven't seen him since probably Oxford City uh, back in November so good to see him uh, get some minutes as well um, but Benny Ashley Seal coming back hopefully that's the last time we ever see him in a cobbler shirt um, and yeah I'm getting into my retain list now which which is going to be a separate video which comes out tomorrow morning um, but yeah a very very average game there's not really much more to say than that to be honest you know didn't particularly enjoy it Sunderland fans probably didn't enjoy it Sunderland will probably feel a little bit um, annoyed because of the fact that you know they're going into the playoffs now having drawn one all with an already relegated side um, Lee Johnson described it as a warm-up game for the playoffs and it kind of had that vibe about it and that if, uh, I would have thought Sunderland would have battered us if they were you know going for it and, and wanted to carry that momentum into the playoffs which they're not going to now uh, because they've drawn and, and they've got that draw against a relegation a relegated side um, to their name um, fair play as well to Wigan Swindon all the teams that uh, Swindon aren't even staying up so I don't know why I said Swindon fair play to Wigan as well um, for, for managing to stay in the league and AFC Wimbledon um, the, the two of the four uh, out of the, the, the six that were in the relegation fight. So fair play to them for staying in League One. Yeah, and that's pretty much all I've got to say about it. So yeah, a really, really short match reaction from me. Um, a very, very dull, boring game that I don't think many people will have enjoyed. Um, that's the end of the Cobbler's life in League One. The best thing about that is we don't have to play Plymouth Argyle next season, so we don't get any of their unbearable fans on this channel. You can stay away. Thank you very much, Plymouth fans. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, uh, hit subscribe as well if you're new to Cobbler's Vlogs. Um, don't, thank you very much to our patrons as well, Adam Page, Mike Fuller, uh, Jason Rodhouse and Luke NTFC, the four of you absolute legend subscribing to our patreon if you want more cobblers vlogs hit the link in the description we've got loads more content coming up over the summer as well uh, loads of interviews we've got videos as well we're going to do uh, some stuff around the euros and then obviously into pre-season so there's loads coming up so make sure you stay subscribed and thank you to all of our new subscribers um, we're going to do more stuff as well on brady being appointed as manager so so much more to come um yeah that's going to be it from me make sure you hit the like button hit subscribe and until next time i will see you all later Bye bye <laughs>